let's dive into our first misconception here, or let's say myth, um, which is, you know, strength training makes women bulkier, right? And I, I use that language. I ch chose my words there extremely carefully because I want to highlight that. And I, I, I wanted to open up, um, I wanted to open up the floor to you. So strength training, making women bulkier when they actually want to be leaner and more toned, right? That's the kind of the, the main driver of, of a myth or a misconception. And Sue, I wanted to open up with you because I, I know that this is not what's at least from my understanding, <laughs> not what's in your no. head as far as like <laughs> not what I'm all. doing in the gym. Right. <laughs> so I wanted to open up the floor to you because I think when I, you know, in the beginning, when I talked about these blanket statements, you know, when, cause so as a, you know, as a man, and I think Alex, you know, Alex can second this too, you know, men get blanket statements all the time with certain behaviors or certain, uh, things that they may desire or want or, or strive for. And it's like, as a man, I can tell you, like, I don't strive for those same things that uh, this other dude is, you know, and like, that's not a, that's not a fair thing to say for all men, you know, and, but for some reason and probably male driven, and honestly, I've, I've heard females, you know, talk about this too, and, and really blanket statement, all women in this conversation, which I think is completely unfair, but we very, we're, we're, we're very quick to make these, these blanket statements, right? So we're very quick to say like, oh, well, women only care about like, we have to break down this wall continuously every single day of strength training makes women bulkier and they just want to be more toned and blah, 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 blah. And that obviously applies for some, right? There's some listening that may, that's, st may still be ringing around in your head. Um, but for a lot of people, and I think a lot, I would say that our clientele and, and audience speak for that themselves when it's like, no, I'm here to get jacked, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to get jacked <laughs> and I want to get strong. Right. And so, Sue, I wanted to open up the floor to you and just, you know, what do you think of this statement and the way that this this axiom is, is typically used or this this misconception? Is this rooted in fear or just misunderstanding? I think it's rooted in excessive misunderstanding, as well as the fact that people have different wants in life, just what you vocalize. So I even posted a picture on Twitter the other day. I loved the way that I looked. I felt so good. And some rando commented back and was like, uh, women don't look good with muscle. You need more fat or more curves on you. And it's something that a lot of women are told that by men. And that's very difficult when you're pursuing something or going after it. And somebody, whether it's someone you know or somebody random on the internet, is going to tell you you look better a different way. And that's something where that's where that fear comes from. Because as a woman, I will go ahead and say that we are told and um, – we are guided to look and act and talk a certain way, and we are told to be small as well. And it is something that when you are getting told all these things you should be from other people, and you don't have this self-confidence or the self-awareness or a self-belief, it's really hard to break out of that because you're just getting everything from everyone else, and you don't even know what you want because you don't know yourself enough, and you're being told, no, don't have muscle, do have muscle, have more fat on your body, have less fat on your body. And it's so confusing as a woman to be navigating through that and then truly deciding what you want your body to look like. For me, these past few years is the most me I've ever felt. And it's the most that I followed what I personally want and what I want out of my physique instead of what somebody else is telling me. Where past to a couple of years ago, if somebody would have commented, you look better with less muscle or you should have more fat on your body, I would be like, oh crap, I probably do. I should go ahead and do that. Even if it was just one comment, it's something that we've been programmed from a young age of first, you need to fit a certain desire from someone. And second, you also need to look a certain way. So you need to figure that out and you need to fit whatever society is telling you. And so that's where some of that fear comes in, but it's also this misunderstanding of what's actually going to happen when you do go in and lift. And I often get so frustrated, but I try to take a step back and realize like people just don't know where someone the other day had said something of, oh, I guess if I want to lose weight, I should just cut out X, Y, and Z. 
And I was like, no, you just need to look at your portion sizes and do this, this, and this because it was specific for this person that I knew. And they were like, well, I've done this of just cutting everything out in the past and I lost weight. And it was something where I just wanted to like wring their neck and be like, no, I'm telling you right now that's not the case. But there's so much misinformation about diet and training. And what I'll say as far as getting bulky in the gym, and this is the thing that I always try to drive home to women, I have been very meticulously tracking my macros, tracking my workouts, training, being consistent with every single variable for over six years and putting in the work, lifting very heavy for someone my size, and I'm still not bulky. <laughs> like if you think that you're going to go in the gym and pick up a dumbbell and all of a sudden just these muscles pop up, people work for tens of tw like 10, 20 years to get that look. And if you're looking at women in regards to um, like within the bodybuilding world, you also have to take into consideration first, that's their whole world. That's not going to be your whole world if you're just getting into the gym. And there are other variables involved within those women. And so being able able to take that into consideration instead of putting that blanket statement of like, well, this woman lifts and she's really bulky when there could be other circumstances at hand. And the great thing about lifting and if you want to call it bodybuilding or training, is you get to choose for the most part how your body ends up looking and how you change things. Throughout the past six years, Alex and I have had a very like, um, we've had a conversation going of, hey, what do you want your physique to look like? Or what is the end goal here? And we have that conversation. We adjust training and nutrition to fit that. And then I go after that. It's not that I'm over here looking like She-Hulk and have like these huge muscles in places I don't want because I'm able to have someone who's going to guide me in the direction that I need to and acquire the results that I want. So as you can tell, I can get really passionate <laughs> and frustrated about this just because I want women to know you can lift and you don't have to just lift lightweight and lots of reps to look a certain way. And not that I want to say, oh, it worked for me and use that as my only result. And good thing it's not my only result. It worked for the thousands of clients that we have at Physique Development. If you want any social proof, look at our Physique Development Instagram page, go to our website, go to any of our Instagram pages, you see the transformations and all of those women are lifting weights and they're seeing these changes that they want to see. And then they're gaining power as Charlotte and I talked about in our podcast as well. So I feel very passionate about the way that that's phrased. I feel like there is a lot of misunderstanding, but there's also fear wrapped into that as well. And it's a lot of layers for a, a female to kind of unwrap and pull back and figure out for herself what she wants.